<laughs> What's up, YouTube land? How you doing? All right, so we're here with random PS1 games. This is the loading game. Uh, we're here with Mortal Kombat Special Forces, uh -oh. which I hear is a pretty infamously bad game, but I don't know anything about it. 2000, pretty late PS1 game. I know about Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero being like really, really bad, but I don't know anything about this game. I think people dislike this one even more than Sub-Zero, because yeah. Sub-Zero at least has some solid stuff with it. This one uh, almost looked like it was like a, like a 3D platformer fighting game. Like adventure style, kind of. Ooh. But I guess we'll see. What is this? The beginning of <laughs> No One Lives Forever. So that was Jax. I think that's Kano. Uh, got your Scorpion. Yeah, Mortal Kombat's such a weird series because the first three games were obviously legendary in their own ways. I mean, 3 is, like, an actually good game. I don't know who that is. But then after 3, like, especially Mortal Kombat 4 was, like, really not good. And then they did, like, a bunch of spin-off games, and then the transition to PS2, the games were just terrible. And it was, like, in just, like, that dark period for, like, a solid decade until Mortal Kombat 10. Or Mortal Kombat 9, the one for PS3 and PS2. A little scared. Very weird, uh. <laughs> yeet, yeet. But you can't fight the final boss if it's not easy. Uh oh. So Kano is a bad guy. Is there any, like, actually good guys in Mortal Kombat lore? <laughs> Uh, Liu Kang. Yeah, I don't know anything about Mortal Kombat. Liu Kang's a good guy. Uh, Johnny Cage. I'm gonna guess that uh, the police girl, Sonya. Sonya. She's probably Probably good. Raiden, although Raiden's probably one of those neutral characters. It's just like, I'm a god, I don't really care about humans. Okay, so Jax... Sub-Zero and Scorpion are both, like, evil, right? Uh, I think Sub-Zero is more on the good side. Jax, okay. we have an urgent situation that demands your attention. What's the problem, Gemini? We have a breakout at the Special Forces Maximum Security Facility. Uh -oh. A group of highly dangerous superhuman criminals has escaped the compound and are at large. Why do you... The list of escaped prisoners is as follows. No face, Tazia, Jarek, and Tremor. Oh, uh, so, sort of interestingly, uh, both Mortal Kombat Mythology and this game are pretty uncommon for the PS1 nowadays. They both go for like 50 bucks a piece. Luckily, I already had Sub Zero, but like when I found that out, I was like, why? <laughs> Is that game 50 dollars? For the PS1. Wait, so do they go with Batman rules where they're just like, okay, in this universe there's all these mutants and stuff, but instead of like just killing them, we like put them in prison because reasons? <laughs> yeah, probably. In, in a world where Mortal Kombat just kills everyone and they like just break everyone in half, it's like, oh, no, 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 no. These superhumans, we gotta keep them alive. Yeah, at least in Batman, like having Arkham Asylum makes sense because Batman doesn't want to kill anyone, even though that is ultimately a really bad idea. Well, he believes everyone can be, uh, can be turned around. I watched, uh, The Killing Joke the other day. It was very good. And that's the whole, pretty much, theme of it. Oh, yeah. Got some more movie. Kano, you're gonna pay for this. I am voice acting. Kano! Although the voice acting in Mortal Kombat 4 is also very funny. Okay. Tank controls? No. Get it? Combos? Recover and detain fugitives. Why can't I just kill everything? So this is like a top down, like, game up kind of game. Okay, very, very wide is this one guy take 10,000 hits. Board. 
Yeah, seriously, why does this guy... I, I, I've i actually hit him, like, probably 15 times. Okay. Oh, but, so there's only... I have experience points. I got 93 XP. So like, there's holy three... Holy crap, this game is bad. So there's three, uh... Guys, I guess. Look up your combos, bro. I'm pushing buttons, dude. Yeah, but there's com they show you combos on the on the start screen. <laughs> what does it matter? Combos. Oh, no known combos. I probably have to, because this is a stupid RPG. You probably have to unlock them. All right, how do I defend? There's first person. All right, how do I defend? Okay, R1. L1 is first person, which is... Can you still attack in it, or no? No. Okay, so it's just a look. Got which it. is good, because this camera angle is horrendous. Like, MGS1 has the same camera angle, but it also has the Soliton radar, which was obviously made because of the camera angle. Man, this, th this game is barren. This reminds me of the famous AVGN quote. Back before we had rooms full of games, you, <laughs> yeah. went, you went to the you went to the uh, uh, store and you rented a game, and this was it. This was your weekend. This was the whole thing, and you were done with it in five minutes. This was your entire wasted weekend of my awful, pathetic childhood. Something like that. And like, imagine like that, like it's like you get to run a game, and it's like, okay, cool. Yeah, especially know? it's like it's Mortal Kombat. It's like everyone's heard of Mortal Kombat, Special Forces. That sounds interesting. You bring it home as a piece of crap. This was your like, and this is just like, God. Yeah, this is this is bleak. Yeah, the, literally. I mean, for being the very maybe it opens up. I don't know, but like. Could you stop defending? Yeah, it's like it's like the first like, enemies. At, at least if this game is gonna be boring, ooh, I have get some sucker. It's push select button, bro. It's not interesting at all. Oh, I don't know if it gave you anything. Oh, do I have to level up? Messages. Okay. Combos. XX. Yeah, I, I did that. It was like so. It's that's get that's get some sucker. Yeah, bud. Holy crap, my next level's so far away. Oh my god, I'm about done with this game already. This is the most boring game ever. Well, at least that takes a heck of a lot more. Yeah. Okay. Just go like one more minute. Combo hits three. But yeah, there's like, there's like. How do I jump? <laughs> How do I jump? None of the face ones. Is it select, start? There's like no music. It's just barren and boring looking. Yeah, like why is the there enemies just exist nothing? and then they run over to you? Oh my god, that's like the same sound effect as running and. Oh, wait, so you, like, missed enemies in the other one. I don't know if it matters. Not that you're going to play this game for more than one more second, but... Yeah. And the enemies, they block too much. Yeah, if they're going to give you a bunch of fodder to kill, like... Like, come on. I understand, like, bosses and stuff, but literally every enemy blocks, like, 50% of the time. Man, no wonder. Like, this game isn't, like... I think Sub-Zero is definitely still the worst game. This one's it, just, like, boring. It's just boring. Yeah, so Sub-Zero has, like, good things going with it and whatever. They, like, tried to... So the... Oh. Okay, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Fire weapon. I think you have to equip it? Use. Cool, no ammo. That's nice. <laughs> Gotta love that. What what game gives you a weapon but like literally no ammo? I understand not like infinite ammo, but when have you ever picked up a weapon and it's just like, oh, well, there's no ammo for it, unless it's like a story thing, you know? Like in like a Metal Gear Solid, like, oh, you know, this is specifically worked yeah. into the story. Oh my god, and there's so many like pathways to choose, everything looks the same. 
It's like, yeah, no wonder if people hate this game, but... I was honestly expecting... I was hoping that this game would be, like, more funny bad. It's just, like, the... It's just boring. It's the boring bad type of game. It just exists. Oh, my God. And it's keeps, big! You're, like... Keeps going. It's, you just keep going deeper and deeper. Oh, I got some ammo. Okay, we'll see uh, how... L1? I thought that's how you do it. Wait, does that even... Okay. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's find one guy to kill with this gun, and then we're done. There's gonna be no more guys. Yeah. <laughs> now that I said that, there's gonna be no more guys. Oh, you got okay, the key. Got the key. Uh, yeah, it is just. I'm. I'm not even a. I'm. I'm not even a Mortal Kombat fan. But like this. This looks like it was like made into another game, and then they're like, oh yeah, make it Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it almost feels like it was an early PS1 Punisher game, and they're just like, uh. Oh. Just make it more common. Something like that. Because it just doesn't have any sort of field. Like, it has no field Alright, give me... <laughs> I was just complaining about too many enemies. Give me one more enemy. Wow. We can't really recommend this one to you, lads. No. Alright, checkpoint. Spawn more guys. What's that do? do anything. No, I just want to shoot someone. <laughs> Come on. Spawn more guys somewhere. Can't open that. What about uh going up and to the left? Oh, there, there we go. go. Cool. Awesome. Wow. Really worth it. Really <laughs> worth it. I mean, he, he definitely died from a couple bullets, which makes sense, but... Okay. Well, this one was a pile of boring, so... <laughs> uh, at least you know to avoid this one. Maybe Trevor will do uh, My Mythology Sub-Zero sometime, because that game's at least hilarious, but this is a snooze fest. So, thank you for watching. Have a great day.